Fish. Jojo would have let his hands go a little bit more. Might have been a different uh, outcome. He's trained hard. He's prepared. He's ready to put on a show in front of his fans. He says he's representing the red corner. El Orgullo de Gawas, Puerto Rico, the reigning, defending WPA featherweight champion, Jesus Rojas. Here is our tail of the tape. This is our main event. Jesus Rojas, the WBA featherweight champion of the world, is 31 years old. He's an inch taller than Jojo Diaz. Get past with Rojas. I think this is a real, real scrap what? here. And Rojas is not the type of fighter you want to face if you were drained and struggled to make weight. Jesus Rojas, the champion in the black gloves. Uh, our last fighter, Jonathan Navarro, in that emphatic victory. Nice combination here. We'll see if these fighters can keep it up. It's been a great night so far. A statement by Golden Boy putting on this show on Facebook. Both men with plenty of power. Diaz Jr., 14 KOs in his 26 wins. Rojas, 19 KOs. Psychologically. In your opinion, Mario, what's going to be the difference in this fight for the winner? If and trade and try to prove any sort of machismo or have lows like that where Rojas can tee off. Well, you know what? Rojas in his last fight, championship fight against Marrero. Eight the best way to describe him. He's a guy with relentless pressure, heavy hands, very composed in there. Nice lead right hand by Rojas. Georgia doing a great job. Left with hand right to the, the temple. Body. Yes. Working the body, doing a nice job going upstairs and downstairs. And he's going to want to pivot and get out of there and not stand like he's doing now. He can't stay there. Boom. Pivot just like that. Get those shots off. Pivot. Move. It's interesting. Jojo Diaz is the one that didn't make weight, but Rojas looks bigger in he there. He does. I was just about to say that. Inside. Diaz ha having some success. Going upstairs and downstairs, but the busier fighter, Willie Davis fighter, when you stand in front of him and you have a bit of a lull, he lets his heavy hands go. And that's what you don't want to do, is lay against the ropes, because that is what you get stronger, but Rojas, very similar. He started a bit slow against Marrero, but then came on late and punished him. He's a guy that once he gets going, he'll catch on the glove, so he's not suffering as much wear and tear as you would think. A lot of very savvy weather and stuff. Diaz, a nice little flurry, and then he's going to walk down Rojas. Oh, hurt him with a little something. Yeah, back Rojas. up. Rojas needs to fight back. He throws a left hook. Now is he playing possum, trying to get him, lull him into an exchange, but no, seems to have got his wits about him. That would be a scary game of possum. Beautiful uppercut. Jojo really looking sharp. And Slight cut on the outside of the nose of Diaz Jr. Yeah, weird place to get a cut. And see, you still don't want to rest against those ropes, even if you've had some success. Or the corner, for that matter. Stop, stop. <laughs> Corner's worse Rick. than the ropes. I agree, I have him up two rounds. However, Rojas is very, very much in this fight. And we're talking, we're splitting hairs here. Coming out strong in this round. And like you said, how long can Diaz keep up the... Oh, that was right on the belt. Oh, that was to the body and, and big, big hard shots. Giorgio now answering back. But he can't get into starting and trading with Rojas just punch for punch. He needs to do what he was doing in the first two rounds. Get those combos off just like that. Pretty combos off, pivot, give him angles, move. That's exactly what he needs to fight. A short, give himself a distance. Pretty, pretty combination. Pun the, absorb those punches. Let's Diaz get the shots off, and now he's starting to fire back. Rojas often likes to let guys punch themselves out a little bit. He catches a lot. Another bloodied head from a headbutt from Rojas. That last shot must have hurt Rojas, because you don't see him take too much back into this round. Beautiful shot, nice combos. Diaz, the southpaw, stepping in and firing a straight oh, left. Here's Jojo doing a great job to the body, going upstairs. That's what I'm talking about, those nice combinations, keeping him busy. Seven, eight punch combinations. Rojas, this is where you don't want to end up. He likes to grind, he likes to dig hooks, big uppercuts. You know, through two rounds, it's been a real fight here with Rojas and Diaz, whose nose is bloody like we've seen, but I have Diaz. Fantastic win in our co-main event for Jonathan Navarro with a knockout over unbeaten Damon Allen. Making a great statement in Rojas right now. Having Diaz right where he wants him with these Ooh. vicious uppercuts and hooks to the We'll see the conditioning of Diaz. 
And it's a weight cut to the lot out of him. Nice little exchange there for Diaz Jr. Crowd starting to get behind him now. A very pro JoJo crowd. He's Rojas is going to be here all night, though, yep. coming forward. You've got to be alert every second of every round. Yeah, Rojas has only been knocked down. Boxing beautifully right now, Diaz. As for right now, it's our main event here on the inaugural broadcast of Golden Boy Fight Night Facebook Watch, round five schedule. Uh, no, I've known uh, the, the whole team at Golden Boy for years now, and it's such a pleasure. And so far, the first half of this round, Rafa Rojas winning. Championship fight, a 12-round fight. Conditioning oh. so important. Good combination started to the body finish with a left to the head. Jojo choosing to fight in the spot, and when he turns it on, he looks so good. Problem is, do you go with the fighter who lands the flashy combos that are they too few and far between, or the relent vow I expected coming in? When they're in the middle of the ring, it's Diaz Jr. who takes over. Against the ropes and in the corner, it's Rojas. Oh, enough combination to be active enough just to keep Rojas away. It's big uppercuts. That's what's busting up the nose of Diaz. There they are again. This is not where he wants to be. No, Diaz has got to start spinning. Well, a lot of times easier said than done, though, Dad. I mean, I think JoJo wants to be able to get his shots off. Now he's starting an eight-punch combination, starting to slow down, and his face is looking Ooh. a little worse for Herrera. Again, Diaz, when he lets his hands go, he scores. Nice little flurry there, showing some speed as Rojas doesn't look well. flustered. And here's Diaz. When he gets that space like his dad wants, that's when he can get his combinations off. He's got to get the jab going so he can create that space. Because Ro space is Diaz Jr.'s friend, and it's Rojas's. He's got another one. One, two, starting the right, finishing with the left hook. Nice shot there from Diaz Jr. Makes his punches count. Was a moment for this round. Oh, nice sneaky little lead right. Stop! Rook Aiz with a couple warnings for heavy punches. Jojo not wanting to stay. Much more active is Rojas at the start of this round. Maybe his corner said, hey, you could be behind on the scorecards. We don't know what's going on right now, but you've got five rounds to go. Turn it on. You're a champion. Fight like it. Well, I've got Rojas um, taking the last couple rounds. I now have it four rounds to three. Diaz hey. Stop! That Rojas wants. There we go. There we go. There we go. He is now with nice belt line too. Fight the, the ref letting him fight though. A little more life now in Diaz Jr. He is being busy now with the combos. This is how he has to fight. This is how he's waiting. Oh, and Rojas counting. Oh, and countering with a big right. See where Roxy Diaz is. And hanging out with the labs. But I thought Diaz did enough to steal the last one. With Rojas coming back with him. With a vengeance in this round, very aggressive. Didn't you hear from Vago earlier? We did hear from Vago. Can't forget any last round. He's boxing, creating a little distance. And it's tough when you got a guy like Rojas coming at you. See, there he is, putting work in, being effective, grinding away. He gave up the first half of the round, but now he's trying to win the second half. Good combination stuff from Jojo Diaz. That's the thing about these fights, Todd, or these particular rounds. I think the more active fighter, the busier fighter. Ooh, right hand, a good one from Diaz Jr. Oh, not slowing Rojas down, though. This may be the most action-packed round we've seen in a while. Double hook, fighting exact beautiful combo with the uppercuts and the hooks. This is exact. We've seen spurts like this. They're starting to come punches, those short little uppercuts, those big hooks. 
they do price switch some of the rounds the other way. Oh, I mean, it, and again, it's just, it's their moments, so it, it, it depends on whether you like the aggression and the constant by Diaz. Do you like thunder or do you like lightning? Rest in peace. Let him not distract us from the great fight that's happening <laughs> here. Golden Boy Fight Night, the main event. If he does a cartwheel, a minute to go here in round 10. Another competitive uh, wow. round, a nice counter shot. Undefeated in his last 16 fights. And there's the oh. best exchange of this round for Diaz Jr. Diaz now, oh, and Rojas answering back. Both fighters exchanging combinations. Nice one from JoJo. 93, Diaz Jr. starting to open up a little bit on the car. But again, but yeah, just when I thought Rojas was pulling away with some momentum. That's been the theme of the night. And he's been able to keep that distance in this fight was hard. But making sure they keep it clean. Big shots, pretty. You know what, that kind of stop. stunned Terminator. Stop on the fans, right? watch your feet. Stop, 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 stop. No knockdown, it's all right. No knockdown, take a breather. Very good. You good? Looking to remain undefeated in 17 straight fights. Jojo Diaz trying to Men's fly. Will. Houston battered as Diaz, but will he be beaten? So nice shot so right on the buckle. Let him go, Jojo. They're both exchanging body shots. A right hand caught the Rojas chin. This is Rojas territory. Head down, punches up. Seconds to go. Yes, segundos. Is Chris punching may have um, stolen more of the rounds. Depends on how the judges are going to look at this fight. I thought it'd be a very even fight. Turned out to be by unanimous decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the former NAPF NAPO featherweight champion from Ensemble, California, Sosa. It was a 115-113 score. I heard a 117-111.